the fox and the hound. One spring morning, a kind widow named Mrs. Teed found a surprise under her laundry. Oh, a little baby fox, she cried. Have you been abandoned? She gently picked up the cub and carried him into the house. I will take care of you. Your name will be Todd. Down the road from Mrs. Tweed lived a hunter named Amos Slade. The same day Mrs. Tweed found Todd, Amos brought home a surprise for his hound chief. It was a puppy hound. His name was Copper. You and I will take care of him and teach him to hunt. Time went by. Todd grew stronger and bigger every day, and so did Copper. One morning, Todd wandered out into, from the farmland into the forest. Suddenly, he ran into Copper, who was also sniffing around. Oh, good, someone to play with, he thought. Hello. He's a funny-looking dog, but he looks friendly. Hello. They romped through the woods, chased each other down paths, and jumped in the pond. They could not stop laughing. Let's play together every day. Todd found his friend tied up in a doghouse made of a barrel. He was very surprised. Mrs. Tweed never tied him up. Is this Chief? He must be a very kind daddy, he added, and stepped over to give Chief a big hug. But the old hound smelled the fox, woke up growling. He leaped toward Todd and chased the frightened little fox toward the yard, dragging his barrel behind him and barking madly. Todd ran right into the chickens. The little leap, little fox leaped over the fence and jumped into Mrs. Tweed's approaching truck. Todd missed his friend Copper. Copper missed his friend Todd. The days were too long and boring without each other to play with. Come on, Copper. It's time to teach you how to hunt. Same morning, Todd sneaked away. What a wonderful morning. I can't wait to see Copper. Maybe we can play together. But when Todd reached Copper's house, he heard a loud bang and the engine start. There was Copper in the car, leaving with Amos and Chief. Todd watched as they drove away. He did not know that Copper would be gone a very, very long time. Days flew by and winter slowly began to go into spring. The leaves grew back and the trees tender and green. Flowers sprang in, in the fields and birds chirped on the countryside. Todd had also grown a lot through the winter and he had become a very handsome fox. How tall are you? said his friends. All of a sudden, the loud rumbling noise broke the country silence. Todd ran to see Angus, Chief, and Copper. Copper was sitting up front with his master and Chief was in the back. Copper is back. I'll go see him tonight. Watch out. He's learned how to hunt, warned his friends. That night, he slipped away to see Copper face to face. You have to go, Todd. I'm a hound now, and I hunt foxes. You are not safe here. But I'm not just any old fox, Copper. I'm your friend. I'm sorry, but I can't be friends with you anymore. That's the way it is. Todd did not understand why they couldn't be friends anymore. Mrs. Tweed knew that it was time for Todd's safety to release him back into the woods. Foxes are supposed to live in woods, not on farms. The next morning, she brought her little friend to Wildlife Sanctuary nearby, took off his collar and said goodbye. Now be good. I hope you make lots of friends in the wood. You'll be very happy here. Meanwhile, Amos and Copper were out hunting for foxes. Copper picked up Todd's scent and the chase went on until they saw a giant bear, giant wild bear. 
Todd raced to help his friends. He didn't care that Copper had become a hunting dog. He was still his friend. Todd jumped on the bear and bit his ear. He led the enraged bear away from Copper and Amos toward a rotten log bridge. The log broke, sending the bear into the water below. Todd had saved Copper and Amos. Todd swam to the bank, exhausted. When he looked up, Amos loomed over him with a shotgun and aimed at him. Todd could not believe after saving Copper and Amos's life. If Amos shoots you, he will have to shoot me too, said Copper. Amos lowers, lowered his gun. Copper, you're right. Your friend should be go free. Thanks for saving us, little fox. Goodbye, Copper. Goodbye, Todd, and thank you. Todd went back happily into his new home in the sanctuary. He and Copper were friends again.